so guys now we have discussed the last topic of application of derivative which is maxima and minima first we know about maxima and minima what is maxima what is minima in our language we can say that maximum means greatest value and minimum means smallest value so here maxima and minima if we discuss on quaternion axis if we say that which is x axis which is y axis and if we draw any curve or wave on x axis and y axis so we can say that which is a curve whole on which is x axis we can say that your hit of points which is maximum and lowest point which is on the curve which is we can say minimum here on the top which is maximum point we can say that maximum means the point which is lie on greatest value which is lie on top on the curve which is greatest value we can say that absolute maximum or absolute maxima or we also can say that local maxima which is the meaning of maximum so now the point which lie on below the smallest value we can say this point the value which lie on this point absolute minima or we can say this point local minima so here we can say about exact meaning of maxima which is the definition of maxima is so here we can say about maxima means maxima means a function f is said to be local maximum here maxima the def exact definition of maxima is a function f is said to be local maximum at x is equals to c if some neighborhood neighborhood which is c minus del c plus del of a c the function f is increases from the left to the right of c we can say about which is maxima so here if we have to express on the coordinate axis which is x axis and y axis here if we draw any curve curve which is y is equals to f of x and here the point which is lie on top we can say about maximum by value distance between x axis and the point is maximum the point the curve which is which is y is equals to f of x and here point p lie on the curve y is equals to f of x on greatest point if we say that function which is increases function which is increases from the left to the right function which is increases from the left to the right means here if we take any points on the curve q and right side r then we can say that the curve which is q p 
function which is increases from the left to the right of C, the point which is P at X is equals to C, then we can say that if we decrease, if we decrease the distance from origin to the point X, we can say this distance which is at a point C less than C means C minus del, del is a very small increment which is neighborhood of C. Distance before the point C is C minus del and distance which is after the point C is C plus del. So here we can say that if we draw the tangent passing through point P one tangent which is passing through point Q and one tangent which is passing through point R passing through point R it gives the angle which is theta 1 the angle which is theta 2 here we can say that the function f is said to be local maximum at x is equals to c if some neighborhood c minus del c plus del of c the function f is increases from the left to the right of a c is called as maxima but driving on coordinate axis we can say that if the curve up to point P from point Q we can say that the function is the function f is increases function which is increases from the left to the right of C which is called as maxima similarly we can create a definition of minima so here about minima we can say that a function f is said to be if we have to define minima then we can say that the definition of minima which is a function f is said to be local minimum function which is said to be a local minimum at x is equals to c if some neighborhood c minus del c plus del of a c the function f is decreases from the left to the right of c is called as minima so about minima we can say that a function f is said to be local minimum at x is equals to c if some neighborhood which is c minus del c plus del of c of the function f decreases from the left to the right of c is called as minimum so we can say on a coordinate axis which is if point p lie on the core which is y is equals to f of x at x is equals to c means distance between origin to point this which is c before the distance c we can say that distance which is decreases means some small distance smallly decrease means neighborhood del c minus del and after the point c or x we can say that the distance which is c plus del here del is a neighborhood of the point about minima if we draw the function f is decreases from the left to the right function which is decreases from the left to the right means here point p continue function which is decreases from the point function which is decreases from the point P left to the right is called as minima. So here sum. So if we ask find if we have to find maximum and minimum then there are some procedure to finding the maximum and minimum. The first step of finding the maximum and minimum which is 
first if we give any function f of x then first we have to find first order derivative which is f dash of x and again after f dash of x again we have to find second order derivative of double dash of x means first step of to finding the maxima and minima which is first we have to find first order derivative again we have to find second order derivative after that to finding first order derivative and second order derivative secondly we have to find the roots of the equation to find roots of the equation means we have to find the value of x if the function which is form of function which is in the form of x then first we have to find roots of the equation means we have to find the value of x by using the first order derivative equation at f dash of x is equals to 0 or we can say that to find the roots of the equation by using f dash of x is equals to 0 after that thirdly if the value of x which is c we can say that the point p lie on p which is at x is equals to c if we find the value of the value of x after finding we get the value of x which is c then we can say that if c is roots of equation which is value of x c we, we can any value of the roots if c is the roots of equation then find f dash double dash of c then find f double dash of c means here we replace the value of x which is c on f double dash of x we get f double dash of c so here the value of f dash double dash of c means second order derivative which is in form of x at x is equals to c if the value of second order derivative f double dash of c which is less than 0 then we can say that function which is maximum or the value of f double dash of c is greater than 0 at x is equals to c then we can say that value which is minimum so we can write here if f double dash of c if f double dash of c is less than 0 then we can say that function is maximum at x is equals to c and if f double dash of c is greater than 0 then we can say that function is minimum at x is equals to c so we can use the same procedure to the roots of f dash of x is equals to 0 as in 3. So this process to finding the maxima and minima is called as second derivative test. Second derivative test. So if any function are in the different form which does not give second derivative means f double dash of x so that we can say that if the given function is f of x is equals to 3x plus 5 and if we after differentiate with respect to x the derivative of x which is f dash of x and here the derivative of f dash of x is 3 into derivative of x which is 1 plus 5 dash 0 means f dash of x is equals to 3 and if after differentiate with respect to x f double dash of x the derivative of 3 which is 0 here we can't decide the second derivative which is less than 0 or greater than 0 so here we can not say that the function is maxima and minima in this steps if the given function 
which is not allowed to second order derivative then their some steps are some their procedure to find the maxima and minima which is first order derivative are as follows so here procedure to find the maxima and minima which is by using first derivative test means first derivative test means here if we can't find the second order derivative f double dash of x in the part of sub so we can say if f of x is equals to given function which is function is in the form of x after differentiating we get first order derivative which is f dash of x and if we again differentiate then we get second order derivative which is f double dash of x if any case second order derivative get become zero then we can't decide the function which is f double dash of x means at x is equals to c yet f double dash of c is less than zero or f double dash of c which is greater than zero in case of f double dash of c or f double dash of x is equals to zero then we can use first order derivative which is the procedure to finding the first order derivative or first derivative test which is first we have to find f double dash of x means first order derivative f dash of x after that in second step we have to find the roots of the equation means the roots means if the function is in the form of x first we have to find the value of x means roots of the equation by using f dash of x is equals to 0 which is the equation by using this equation f dash of x is equals to 0 we can find the value of x or we can find the value of roots so after that if c is the roots the value of x is any we get which is we can consider that c if c is the roots of the equation then we have to find f dash of decreasing distance means f dash of c minus h which is neighborhood and f dash of c plus h which is again a neighborhood of f dash of x where h is a very small increase, increase very small positive real number so first if we get the value of f dash of c minus h is greater than 0 and f dash of c plus h is less than 0 then f has maximum at, at x is equals to c so if we get f dash of c minus h is less than 0 and f dash of c plus h is greater than 0 then f has minimum at x is equals to c by using the same procedure for the other roots f dash of x is equals to 0 as in 3 we can find the maxima and minima of the given functions so here first example on which is maxima and minima we we have to find find a local maximum and a local minimum value of f of x when f of x function which is x cube minus 3x square minus 24x plus 5 so here given function which is in the form of x function which is x here we have to find local maximum value and local minimum value at x is equals to any point which is c so here if we have to find local maximum and local minimum so first we take the given function f of x is equals to x cube minus 3x square minus 24x plus 5 by the procedure of second derivative test first we have to find f dash of x and f double dash of x so first we have to find f dash of x after differentiating with respect to x we get the derivative of fx is f dash of x so here derivative of x cube which is 3x square minus 3 into derivative of x square which is 2x minus 24 into derivative of x which is 1 and the derivative of 5 is 0 so here we can say that 3 into x square which is 3x square minus 6x minus 
24 which is the value of f dash of x equation number first so after that we have to find f dash f double dash of x means if we differentiate again differentiate with respect to x or if we differentiate with respect to s to f dash of x then we get a second derivative f double dash of x so here the derivative of x square which is 2x minus 6 into derivative of x which is 1 and the derivative of minus 24 is 0 so we can write it 3 into 2 which is 6x minus 6 which is the value of f double dash of x equation number 2 so here we can say that f dash of x is 3x square minus 6x minus 24 f double dash of x is 6x minus 6 after first procedure second step we have to find the value of roots or we have to find roots of the equation by using find the value of x by using f dash of c is equals to 0 or f dash of x is equals to 0 by using this equation f dash of x is equals to 0 we have to find the roots means from equation 1 from 1 f dash of x is equals to 0 and the value of f dash of x which is 3x square minus 6x minus 24 is equals to 0 here we have to find local maximum and local minimum so now if we take 3 common from this equation we can write 3 into x square minus 2x minus 8 is equals to 0 so we can write it x square minus 2x minus 8 is equals to 0 if we factorize this equation sorry if we factorize minus 8 into 1 which is minus 8 we can write 2 into 4 which is minus 4 plus 2 2 into minus 4 is minus 8 we can write it x square plus 2x minus 4x minus 8 is equals to 0 if we take x common from this both term we can write x into x plus 2 minus 4 into again x plus 2 is equals to 0 so here x plus 2 we take common from this both term we can write in second bracket x minus 4 is equals to 0 so first bracket x plus 2 is equals to 0 and second bracket x minus 4 is equals to again 0 the value of x is equals to minus 2 and the value of x is which is minus plus of 4 so we get the roots of the equation two values which is x is equals to minus 2 and x is equals to 4 so here in first case and x is equals to minus 2 we have to find maximum or minimum value if we put this value at x is equals to c means x is equals to minus 2 in equation number a then we get f dash of minus 2 so here first we have to find function which is maximum and minimum after that we have we can find the maximum value or minimum value first at x is equals to minus 2 by using equation number 3 equation 3 become we get f double dash of the value of x which is minus 2 is 6 into minus 2 minus 6 6 into minus 2 which is minus 12 minus 6 which is minus 18 means the value of f double dash of minus 2 is minus 18 and minus 18 means the negative value is less than 0 <coughs> then we can directly say that f double dash of minus 2 is less than 0 it means that the function function f is maximum 
एट एक्स इज इक्वल टू माइनस टू सो इफ वी पुट दिस मैक्सिम वैल्यू माइनस टू एंड एक्स इज इक्वल टू माइनस टू इन इक्वेशन ये देन ये भी कम एफ ऑफ माइनस टू इज इक्वल टू माइनस टू क्यू माइनस थ्री इंटू माइनस टू स्क्वेर माइनस ट्वेंटी फोर इंटू माइनस टू प्लस फाइव माइनस टू क्यूब विच इज माइनस एट माइनस टू स्क्वेर इच इज फोर मीन्स माइनस थ्री इंटू फोर माइनस ट्वेंटी फोर माइनस माइनस प्लस विच इज फोर्टी एट प्लस फाइव माइनस एट माइनस थ्री इंटू फोर विच इज माइनस ट्वेल्व प्लस फोर्टी एट प्लस फाइव फोर्टी एट प्लस फाइव द वैल्यू ऑफ फोर्टी एट प्लस फाइव विच इज फिफ्टी थ्री माइनस एट माइनस ट्वेल्व मीन्स माइनस ट्वेंटी प्लस फिफ्टी थ्री द वैल्यू ऑफ माइनस ट्वेंटी प्लस फिफ्टी थ्री इज थर्टी थ्री हेन्स वी कैन से दैट द मैक्सिमम वैल्यू At x is equals to minus two is thirty two three means maximum value is thirty three at x is equals to minus two. In second case, by using the roots at x is equals to minus four, we can find maximum value at x is equals to minus four. So we can write here second case case second case second. At x is equals to four, if we put this value x is equals to four in f double dash of c, then equation two become we can write equation two become f double dash of four is equals to six into four minus six means. Twenty four minus six means twenty four minus six is eighteen, and eighteen is greater than zero. We can write if double dash of four is greater than zero means we can say that if the second order derivative if double dash of c is greater than zero, then we can say that function f is Minimum at x is equals to four. So here we have to find minimum value by using equation a. Equation a become f of four is equals to four cube minus three into four square minus twenty four into four plus five. The value of four cube sixty four minus four square is sixteen. Sixteen into three. Forty-eight minus twenty-four into four. We can write four into four sixteen. Four into two, which is ninety-six plus five. Sixty-four minus forty-eight minus ninety-six plus five, which is a value minus seventy-five, which is a minimum value at x is equals to seven minus seventy-five. x is equals to four is minus seventy five and the maximum value at x is equals to minus two is thirty three. Hence we can write maximum value maximum value thirty three at x is equals to minus two. And minimum value is minus seventy five, and x is equals to four. It is real that thirty three is greater than minus seventy five, and minus seventy five is less than thirty three. Means thirty three is maximum value, and minus seventy five is minimum value. 
and the curve y is equal to f of x on f of x when f of x is equal to x cube minus 3x square minus 24x plus 5. So we can say that the value maximum about maximum and about minima, the local maximum value we can write here local maximum value or local man, local minimum value at x is equal to minus 2 is 33 and a local minimum value minus 75 and x is equal to 4 which is the required maxima and minima so here we have to find maximum if the given condition example number 2 is a wire of length is 120 centimeter is bent from a rectangular shape the wire which is length is 120 centimeter and is bent in the form of rectangular shape means if this wire are bent into this shape which is the shape is rectangular whole length of wire means perimeter of rectangular is given 120 centimeter means perimeter of rectangle is 120 centimeter so if we consider that x is the length of this rectangle and y is the breadth of this rectangle then opposite sides of rectangle again equal we can say that here perimeter means x plus y plus x plus y is equals to 120 means 2x plus 2y is equals to 120 means 2 in the bracket x plus y is equals to 120 means x plus y is equals to 120 upon 2 which is 60 which is a required equation or function f of x so by using this function we have to find area of rectangle when maximum so here we know that the area of rectangle means if area of rectangle when x is length and y is breadth is equals to x into y so now first we consider that let x be the length of a rectangle y be the breadth of a rectangle so by using this length and a breadth we can say that perimeter of rectangle means length of wire is 120 centimeter is given Hence, we can say that if the perimeter is rectangle is 120 means 2 into x plus y is equals to 120. x plus y, x plus y, 2x plus 2y, if we take 2 common from this 2x, 2 in bracket x plus y is equals to 120 or we can say that that is x plus y is equals to 120 upon 2 which is 60. So here equation number first so by using this equation we can find the value of y which is 60 plus x become minus x which we give equation number first so we know that let a be the area of rectangle and we know that area of rectangle A is equals to length into breadth, length is x, breadth is y. So, if we substitute the value of y, which is 60 minus x, we can write 60x minus x square, which is area of rectangle x square. 60x minus x square. So now, A is equals to 60x minus x square. After differentiating, with respect to x, a is a function because we have to find area of the rectangle which a is a dash or da upon dx. The derivative of 60x which is 60 into 1 minus 
again the derivative of x square which is 2x if we again differentiate with respect to x we get a double dash means second order derivative derivative of 60 which is 0 minus 2 into 1 means a double dash is equals to minus 2 and minus 2 is less than 0. Hence we can say that f is maximum at so we can say that f is maximum now we have to find so first we have to find the variable by using first order derivative a dash is equals to 0 and we can say that equation number 2 equation 3 by using a dash is equals to 0 and the value of a dash is, a dash is a dash is equals to 60 minus 2x is equals to 0. If we shift this minus 2x right side, then become 2x is equals to 60 and the value of x is 30. So we can say that the maximum value at x is equals to 30, at x is equals to 30, f of 30 is equals to or f of x is equals to we can say that when 60 into or we can say that when the value of x which is 30 then area of rectangle is maximum or if we substitute this value of x which is 30 in equation number 1 then 1 become y is equals to 60 minus 30 again y is equals to 30 we can say that when y is equals to 30 means breadth is 30 then area of rectangle is maximum which is a required value of x which is 30 and y which is 30 when the area of rectangle is maximum so here length is 30 and breadth is 30 which is a required value 